That's good. What's up, Brisha? What's up, girl? Drinking the flavored water. It's the great flavored water. I had to take the um, I had to take the label off because I ain't paying. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <sighs> Bread Tuck Legacy Show. Episode. I think it's like episode seven. Like I said, I was gonna commit to twelve of these. You know, as you can see, we got the commitment going. We on seven. So we got five more. Then after that five, I'm going to sit in the lab and see do I need to re-up, uh, renew my deal with myself. Keep this thing going. But y'all know what it is. Um, we talking about, who we talking about today? First, I want to talk about this future situation, man. I'm like... <laughs> I'm looking at, um, I'm going down the internet. I'm looking at the internet or whatever. You know, I'm scrolling through whatever. And I see Future, um, supposedly Future played this IG model or something. And, you know, I really don't be checking for stuff like that. You know, so I just keep on going. And I see it again and I see it again. And I see some text messages. And I say, man, what Future did, man? Let me look at Future. So I went and, I went and read the whole thing. Future meets a girl in the studio in Miami. You know, maybe a girl he like, I guess. And he, you know, hey, what's up, girl? You know, woo, woo, woo. Man, I really like your style. Look, man, let's, uh, if you don't mind, let's exchange phone numbers. And what happens is they exchange phone numbers. Then I want to say a week later in California, Future goes to California and somehow him and the girl reconnect. I don't know if he texted her. I don't know if she texted him. I forget that part. But she's like, um, or they're like, hey. Or Future's like, hey, look, man. Look, girl. Hey, girl. I'm in California, man. You know, I'm in the, I'm down here doing my thing. You know, what you doing? How you, baby, what you got going on? Then, then Future's like, uh, she's like, oh, okay. You know, I'll roll out there. You know, let me let me come through. The future's like, hey, so check this out. And they're going back and forth through text message. So future's like, hey, check this out. You come down and I'ma reimburse you for your flight. I'ma have a room for you, but you come, you pay, I'ma reimburse you for your flight. And I think that future did it that way um, because somebody said, I forget who said this, but I think somebody said, because future could have bought the Don, what's up, fam? We talking about Future and the, and the IG model. Future could have bought her the ticket and then she just don't show up. The Future out of money, which it don't matter the Future. Future multi-millionaire, he ain't thinking about that. But he has the girl pay for her trip, okay? So Future comes through, excuse me, excuse me. The girl pays $550 for the ticket. And she's like, you know, no, Future's like, I'm gonna reimburse you. A thousand percent. But in my mind, Future, you know, Future was like, nah, I'm going I'm to get you back. And a hundred percent is like, I mean that. He wasn't saying, I'm going to give you your money back times a thousand. She wasn't paying tithes to God. She, the girl act like she was paying tithes. But we going to get back to that. Anyway, the girl pays $550. She gets the ticket. She comes down. Okay. She's in New York. She's, she's in, um... She's in uh, L.A. or California, wherever she is. They in California. And, you know, she texts Future like, hey, Future. Or FaceTime, excuse me. Hey, Futures, I'm down here. Where you at, boo? You know, because that's how when, when, when women feel like they're about to win or get something, that's how they talk. Where you at, boo? So she FaceTime that boy Future. <laughs> Future looking. Future say. Hold on, man. Uh, hey, girl, how you doing? You look good now, but why you ain't got no lingerie on, though, man? How you gonna FaceTime me? I, I text you to come down here. I text you to come down here. You come down here and you FaceTime me, but you ain't got no why why you ain't why you ain't got no lingerie on though? Why you ain't looking sexy, man? I mean, you, you look good in your regular clothes, but why you ain't got a lingerie on though? Then she's like, uh, you know. Oh, you know why? Why I gotta have on lingerie, Futures? Then Futures like, uh, you know, okay. 
Then, then, then baby girl was like, oh, oh, wait, look, 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 look. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of, ah, ah. You know, that's when people get, that's when people get kind of, <laughs> that's when the, ah, ah, that's when that comes out. The girl was like, oh, futures, um, it's not like that. You know, you thought it was like that? The future, you know, nah, baby, it ain't, I'm not that kind of girl, futures. I'm not that kind of girl. I thought that when we met in Miami, we was just going to get down here and we was just going to hang out and just kick. And you know, Futures, Futures responding uh, as a gentleman the whole time. He ain't curse at her. He ain't say nothing crazy. But in his mind, I know what Futures thinking. In his mind, Futures like, man, girl, you ain't nobody finna fly you out here just to kick it with you. You know, so in the, in the girl mind, she probably thinking it's the the notebook or uh, what uh, a walk to remember, or she think it's what uh, brown sugar or something. Nah, if you nah, baby, this ain't no movie. You dealing with a rapper. If you listen to his lyrics, you know what Future's about. So Future's just like ah, you know what? Shaking my head. Um. Yeah, uh, so so you not gonna put that lingerie on? And she like, uh. then he's like, oh, okay, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm cool, I'm all right, baby. You know, do your thing. You know, and I forget the exact word. It's a quote slipped up posted. If y'all give me time, but um, you know, so so futures like, uh, you know, you can tell futures not interested anymore. So he's like, okay, you know, um. I'm cool, you know, I'm not really going to be, you know, this really doesn't have to continue. We really don't have to move forward with this. Man, did he, did uh, some thug take this thing down? He had the post, the post was on his page. And I don't really, for time purposes, I don't want to just be going through the internet to look it up. Um, yeah, fam, she roaching. She roaching. She thought she was going to come down there and get some bread or something. You know, future like, nah. But he had the hotel room booked. So she in the hotel room. But Future and them, they having a conversation. He's like, uh. Future's disinterested. Sitting, what's up, girl? My girl, Adrian. What's up, girl? You good? We talking about Future and the IG model. So, so baby girl's like, so you not coming through? Wow! Wow! You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how people just get extra on you, and they wow. And future's like, if you, what did future say? If somebody has the exact quote, please hit me with it. Lena, what's up, girl? We talking about future and the baby, the baby mom. We talking about future and the IG girl. What was the exact so quote that he hit her with? If somebody has it, please post it. But it was so, somewhere along the lines of, you know what, have a you know what, have a good day, baby. I'm cool. You got it. So he lets her make it. Then baby girl go get something to eat or something. Then she come back to the hotel. Her key don't work. So she, you know, if you've been to a hotel, you got the key. She boop. And, it, and usually. If, if you key work, that thing going to turn green and the door going to unlock. But she, boop. Hold on, man. Why, this, why the red light keep coming? Boop. Man, the red light keep coming on, man. Boop. So she go down to the, to the, uh, to the desk. And she's like, hey, look, I got a room here. You know what I'm saying? I can't. My, I boop. And then the thing keep turning red. I'm trying to get him a room. That future that my baby got me. Future got me. We met at the in the uh we met in Miami. You know, he just flew he flew me out here. We were just gonna talk. We were just gonna kick it. Cause that's gonna be my future boo. And now my key won't work. And then that man like, look here, boo. Man, you gotta get your stuff. You gotta get up out of here. Future to shut this thing down. Just grab your stuff and get up out of here. So now she mad, dude. So now she mad with future. Like, nah, Future, you a, you a F-boy and all this. And woo-woo-woo. And I will say the only fault that I put on Future 
is, and, and this, he could have, you know, you make your own choice. I think Future should at least, you know, all right, baby, check this out. Take your, here's your 500. You got cash app? I'm going to cash app you this 550, and, you know, you ain't got to worry about me no more. Just to keep it thorough, just to keep it boss-like, you know, just shoot her a $550 back. Because at the end of the day, she's still a black woman, and we want to make sure our black women are protected, make sure that black woman gets back to her destination safely. Because what if she didn't have the money to get back? She'd have just been out here looking crazy, and now she'd have been scrambling and had to figure some things out. But the but but future didn't owe that woman anything. Cause you have to know, as women, you have to know, child, please, she a thought. I Lena, I get it. I'm 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 with you. I'm with you. But I mean, just being a boss, I think future future got it. He ain't gonna miss that. He ain't gonna Uh It's a it's a know ya. Hey, what's up, girl? It's a know ya. I'm sorry if I'm jacking your name up. We talking about future. <laughs> And the, the IG model, then we got another topic after this. We almost finished with the future. But, um, yeah, you know, I think future could have just shot her to 550. Just like, hey, boo, you got it. It's nothing. Like, it's you. Here you go, baby. Take your 550. Get home. But future shut the room off on her. Man, and baby girl had to figure it out. But then she jumped on the ground just blasting that boy. Oh, this old F boy. He he flew me out, and you can see she has bad understanding. He flew me out. He thought that he was going to get this and all this, and he said he was going to reimburse me my 550000 times. Uh, I mean, I, he thought, I thought he was going to reimburse me my $550 times a 1000 Baby, future ain't Jesus. That's what they do in church when you pay your tithes. You pay your five hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it is, then Jesus is gonna multiply that. Future ain't Jesus, baby. But anyway, I just wanna say, man, because it's a message in that. Yeah, it's a ratchet story, but it's a message in that, man. For those of us who have daughters, for those of us who have little girls, for those of us who wanna protect our women, man, we have to teach our little girls that hey man, you gotta have your own. That way. If, 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 if a cat like Future flies you out somewhere and things don't go Future's way and he shuts you off, you good. Because Future had every right to respond like that. He had, he, they, he thought that they had an understanding. And for me on the outside looking in at the situation, I thought they had an understanding. Ain't no man, unless it's business, unless a man's flying you out there for business to talk numbers that's going to create more money, ain't no man flying you out somewhere and not expecting anything in return. So that's what we got to let our women know. We got to let our daughters know, man. But it seems like she had her own. I saw a post that she kind of posted and she was like, hey, man, look. I got played. Now, one thing I do like about this chick, she's owning it. She's like, look, man, I got played. Uh, I went out here. I'm looking crazy. But I had my own. 30 minutes later, I had another hotel. Facts. Have your own. Yeah. 30 minutes later, I had another hotel. I'm good. I'm just blasting them. But what I do like about the situation, Future's not responding. I mean, just be a boss about it. Future, you didn't get what, what you wanted or expected. You just shut the whole situation down and you move on. You ain't got to respond to that. Because now she's just getting her, she, she's just getting the fame and notoriety and legs up under her situation. And we wouldn't even know this girl existed if Future wasn't involved. So I want to say, man, it's important for us to let our daughters know, like, baby, you got to have your own and whatever you need. And that, you know what my barber told me? And, and this stuck with me. My barber told me that, um, my barber told me that he has three girls. So he has three daughters and he has to over give to them so that when these young cats roll up on them, they can't impress them with money. Cause they could be like, my dad, my dad do that for me. So he makes sure my barber makes sure that his, his, daughters have a car he makes sure that their education is handled he makes sure that they have extra money so can't no dude impress them 
with with no money or no car. Because they can always see say, well, you got to come with more than that because my daddy do that. So as dudes, see, this is a wretched story, but there is still a message. As dudes, it's important for us to handle that situation, to protect our daughters, put them in positions to where they have so they don't so they don't have to be baited out here. But shout out to Future. I don't even really mess with Future in the music like that. I bought the very first Future CD and then I bought the Future and Drake project because Drake was on it. But this was funny, so I had to speak on it, man. So shout out to Future. We're done with that topic. Let me take a sip of this flavored water with no label because they ain't paying me. Mm. I would tell y'all to go get some of this, but I can't tell you what to get. Because, again, they ain't putting no check. They not, they not sponsoring the Bread Tuck Legacy show, so I can't pub them like that. Mm. Mm. Kim Kardashian and Alice Johnson. Were y'all familiar with Alice Johnson before this? I got to be honest with you. I wasn't. Um, to my understanding, I tried to get as much backstory on Alice Johnson as I can. Alice Johnson is a 63-year-old woman, and she's been in prison for 21 years. She was facing a life sentence. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Brisha, you told me about Alice Johnson. <clears throat> I did some reading up on her. She was facing a life sentence. Um, for like having cocaine or something. I don't know if, she, I think she was, it seemed like she was going to sell it, but possession of cocaine. But a life sentence, it's like a life sentence? White folk be having cocaine all day, but okay. But anyway, and they be freed in the mud. But okay, but she was facing a life sentence. 63 years old. She's been in prison 21 years, which I think is excessive. But let me see. So she went to prison when she, let me do my math real quick. Three minus one is two. Six minus two. Dang, so she was 42 when she went to prison. Um, she's a grandmother now. So she was doing life in prison. She's in prison for possession of cocaine. I guess this story um, went around social media. It was on Twitter. It was, you know, all that stuff. And Kim Kardashian ran across it. Excuse me. Now. I know for a lot of us, Kim Kardashian isn't um, your favorite person. A lot of y'all are not feeling Kanye West. Um, to be honest with you, if you really look at Kim Kardashian's history or the Kardashians as a whole, you could say that they are, you know, a curse to men. I mean, you know, now, now, if you, now, if you of them brothers survive because they got up out of there. Um, I think Reggie, Reggie Bush is, you know, I think he's doing all right out here. He didn't have this, he didn't have the career that people expected him to have, but he still has sense. He's good. You know, he got him a little Super Bowl. He went to multiple teams. He got up out of there. Chris Humphreys, I don't know where that cat is. Man, Lamar Odom was an NBA champion, man. Now, you know, and I don't want to say anything to disrespect the brother or make light of the brother, but he has some he has some crazy drug issues. Ooh, my guy James Harden got up out of there. Oh, I just wanna I just wanna thank God that that God got James Harden up out of there. Ah. We went to the Western Conference Finals the year that that brother was messing with Khloe Kardashian. That brother got in the Western Conference Finals and started stinking it up. But a year later, I think he let her go. I think, you know what the importance, when you have a mother, now when you're a black man dealing with, you know, uh, women of other cultures, you your mother got to be alive because she going to keep it 100 with you. And I think that's what uh, James Harden's mama was doing. She was probably like, look here, baby, you know, that ain't the move you want to make. So James Harden got up out of there. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, my boy Travis Scott messing with one of the youngest women, the either Kylie or whichever one. Um, he seems like he's still cool. You know, let's kind of pay attention to that. Um, and now Tristan Thompson out here messing with Chloe and, you know, whatever. But that's not the point. I'm saying that their track history 
messing with the Kardashians. They track history, a jack you up. So a lot of people just be like, mm, I don't know about the Kardashians like that. But this story came across Kim Kardashian's table or whatever, or her IG feed. And she was like, man, you know what? This uh, does something to my heart. I have to do something about this. You know, so she put it out there like, hey, have y'all heard of Alice Johnson? I'm this coming across my feed. I got to go see about this, man. I know y'all ain't checking for me. I got to meet with Trump. And with black people, if you meet with Trump, it becomes a, I don't want to say a black cloud, but it becomes a stain on your career, a stain on anything you do. Um, Steve Harvey. For, for a second, Trey, what's up, fam? We talking about um, Kim Kardashian and the Alice Johnson situation. When, when black celebrities meet with Trump, it becomes a stain on them. People start looking at Steve Harvey funny. Man, why he meeting with Trump? Um, man, what's my guy's name? I'm forgetting my guy's name that played for the Browns, man. Bought him a Super Bowl. Ah, one of the biggest... One of the biggest um, black, um, why am I losing words right now? He really fights for black people. Sat out in the NFL, sat, uh, took a stand on the, on the, Jim Brown, appreciate you, bro. Trey, appreciate you, you right on time. My guy, Jim Brown, met with Trump and people kind of looked at it like, eh. instead of looking at it like, man. You know, maybe these guys, you know, we don't, we don't have to like Trump, but Trump has the power. If we can go talk to them, try to talk to him and try to try to diamond red. What's up, girl? Maybe we can talk to him and try to make things better. But instead, we we um, we 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 look at them like they have a stain on them. But anyway, Kim Kardashian said, look, man, I got to go talk to Trump. I know people not going to feel it. But I got to do it anyway because I got to try to help this girl out or help this woman out. The woman's 63. Help this woman out. She went and talked to Ivanka Trump, um, Donald Trump's daughter. And she was like, look, man, Alice Johnson in here. The girl, the woman just had the cocaine. She's been in here 21 years. A life sentence is crazy. Then Ivanka Trump went and talked to her husband, who's a lawyer. And I think he kind of jumped on the case a little bit. Then Ivanka Trump connected Kim Kardashian to Donald Trump. And they had a meeting. And Kim Kardashian said, look, Donald, Mr. President, or whatever she called him. Look, Trump, Mr. President, Donald, I don't know. But this woman facing a life sentence for cocaine possession is kind of ridiculous. And I'm here on her behalf to represent for her and do something to alleviate this situation. Can we pardon her? Or the term they use is commute her. Can we commute her? And at that moment, Donald Trump actually had a heart, according to an article I read. Uh, Donald Trump was like, man, oh, that's crazy. I feel this situation. Let's see what we could do. And I think it was either this week. It was this week. Miss Alice Johnson was commuted. And, you know, as long as this isn't a, a scam or like a um, uh, something to make parties look good, I'm okay with it. And I do want to say shout out to Kim Kardashian for that. Um, what I'm learning to do now is separate the person, or excuse me, separate the history of a person from the actual acts of a person, the actual acts. A person may be a horrible person, right? A person may be this disgusting person. This person is just so disgusting and horrible that he does not, or he or she does not deserve your time. But they may do something to change um, mankind. They may do something to change somebody's life. They may do something to change your life. And in this situation, Kim Kardashian did something to change Alice Johnson's life. Alice Johnson is a free woman. 
Alice Johnson had a daughter, or she has a daughter. She has grandkids. She actually left prison, and now she's able to go be with her family. She said that she had a desire for seafood. She left prison. Now she's able to go have some crawfish etouffee, if that's what she liked. Or some mahi with the with the sauce with the little light with the little light butter sauce on it, if she liked. Tony Massey, what's up, fam? You all right? I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my Tony Massey on right now, man. No, nah, no, nah, man. Shout out to you, man. We talking about uh, Kim Kardashian um, speaking on behalf of of uh, Alice Johnson, and I think that's a great thing. So my question is. When we really dislike a person, when we really dislike a person, but they do something amazing for mankind, is it okay for us to appreciate that act? Is it okay for us to like that person? Is, is that okay? Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be running around here. I'm not saying I'm going to go to Miami and visit the Dash store and buy everything in there. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that, wow, man, Kim Kardashian really used her celebrity. And you know what? This is when I think celebrity is important. You know, because celebrities are going to make all kinds of money. They're going to do appearances. And even sometimes their presence is inspiring. It is. When it, say, say I'm at a spot and Jay-Z standing next to me. And I'm looking at a, a guy who got it out the mud, man. Transitioned his life to becoming one of the most visible black entrepreneurs, visible, relater, relatable black entrepreneurs in my life. That's, that's inspirational. His presence is inspirational. But what's more inspirational is when he's like, look, Meek needs to get out of jail. I'm willing, I'm willing to spend whatever money. I'm willing to use whatever influence I have to make that happen. That's when celebrity is super important. That's when celebrity really matters. Because at the end of the day, you know, we buy your CDs, we buy your clothes, we buy your videos, your music, oh, we see your movies. That's cool. But what are you doing to elevate mankind? People are out here hurting, man. People are out here losing everything, man. People are out here dying. People are out here facing uh, depression. You see, Kate Spade just killed herself, man. Worth, worth, man, I ain't, before, I didn't know who Kate Spade was. All I know is I go into Macy's when I'm trying to shop for something for baby, and I see, oh, Kate Spade has shoes and purses. Never was able to put a face into, to it. Now I know more about a Kate Spade because she committed suicide, man. She was financially prosperous. But it was something going on in her life that she was not able to deal with. And now she is no longer with us. That's the point I'm making. People are out here. People are out here just losing it, man. When do we use our little platform to bring them up, to bring healing to them? So I got to shout out Kim Kardashian for that, man. I can't hate on Kim Kardashian for that. Kaz, what's up, fam? I can't hate on Kim Kardashian for that. I got to be G about it and show respect. I got to take it one further. I'm not a Trump supporter. But I have to, hey, Trump, good looking out on getting Alice uh, Johnson up out of there. Good looking out. On getting Jack Johnson up out of there. Now I'm not saying 2020. I'm gonna run to the polls like uh with a with a with a Make America Great Again hat on. That's not me. That's not that's not my mission. But I think it's okay to appreciate the acts of a particular person. We can separate the rest of that person from the act. Hey, man, that was a great act, fam. I don't like you. I don't mess with you, but good looking out on this particular thing. And even, I mean, to take it, um, because uh, what I'm about to say now does not compare to what Kim Kardashian did. But even with Kanye's new album, man, you can feel how you want about Kanye. 
but it's two songs on there that really touch my soul, man. Um, Wouldn't Leave, where he's talking about he's done all these crazy things um, that his woman should have left him for, but she stuck with him. If you're a man with a soul and you hear that song, you're going to connect to it. Then he has another song called Violent Crimes, where he's talking about how he was a womanizer. He didn't respect women, but now that he has a daughter, he views women differently. And if I'm if I'm on this, man, Kanye, I'm not finna mess with him. I don't want to hear nothing from him. I'd have missed out on those two beautiful pieces of art that I need. So I'm just, the way I'm moving in life, man, I'm learning not to just throw black people away. I'm not throwing black people away because the, the first thing we do is throw black people away. Oh, 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 Kanye. Oh, oh, I don't want no more Kanye. I don't want no more Kanye. I don't want him done for Kanye. If you listen to Kanye, turn that off. But y'all run to grab Tommy Hill figure when Tommy Hill figure was hot and he said he didn't, his, his clothes wasn't for black people like that. But y'all still running around wearing Timberland boots. And and the creator of Timberland said, man, I didn't make these boots for black people to get all stylish in them. These working boots. We don't throw them away, but we throw our own away. I had to look at myself, and I know I'm going off on a tangent, but y'all, I'm going somewhere. Rock with me. For a while, I wouldn't wear Michael Jordans. I said, man, he don't do nothing for the community. I'm not supporting that. I'm not, su whoa, whoa, whoa. But then I thought about it. Man, I still support all these other um, companies that have nothing to do with black people. I got a Home Depot card. I shop at Home Depot to get things from my home. Home Depot put money into Donald Trump's campaign. I'm not getting rid of them. I don't have any. I don't have too many options. But we quick to throw our black people away, and that that made me sit down and look at man Michael Jordan. I may not agree with you on everything. And in the past, he's done some things to kind of, you know, but I'm like, man, I could, I could, you know, I'll put on a Jordan T. I'll grab me some team Jordan. I ain't grab no Air Jordan. I ain't got $200 for no Air Jordans. But if you got the little joints on sale for $60 and I like them, I could grab that. But I just think as black people, we have to look at how we handle our own. We're quick to throw our own away. But we still support. We're we're unforgiving with ours, but we'll forgive white people like 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 it's nothing, and that's a problem. That should be a problem to you. It's a problem for me. That's a major problem. Cause at the end of the day, we all we got, man. So um, and Kim Kardashian isn't black, but I want to say shout out to Kim Kardashian for that act that showed that she had a heart. She's not just you know just selfish. You know, she at least had a moment where she did something great. And now this grandmother could be with her family. And, and then think about this. We may dislike Donald Trump and we may hate Donald Trump. You know, some of us. But Alice Johnson is probably the biggest Donald Trump supporter right now. Think, think about that. Are we going to hate Alice Johnson for that? She has a reason. Alice Johnson, I mean, Trump signed some papers to get her out of prison. She was facing a life sentence. So she could like Trump. Now, hey, you know, what can you do? Um, but those are just some things to think about, man. We have to watch how we move as black people um, and stop throwing our own away. But, um, man, that got kind of, man, this, we got a little serious towards the end, but y'all know what it is, man. Shout out to Future. Shout out to Kim Kardashian. Shout out to the IG model for, for, um, doing, you know, for, for taking, for taking that L and knowing that she had that L. But y'all know what it is, man. I've been on, this is my longest show. I've been on here during the 35 minutes, man. Bread Tuck Legacy Show. Um, appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Appreciate myself for the consistency. But y'all know what it is, man. Y'all catch me next Saturday around this time. I say 8, but, you know, 8 to 8, 15-ish. But I'm, I'm going to be here. As long as I have breath in my body, I'm going to be here, man. Try to get y'all some content that's, you know, that may have a little jokes in it, but it's actually progressive, though. But y'all know what it is. Bread Tuck Rob. 
Bread Tuck Gang Forever, uh, Bread Tuck Legacy Show, Ace Town. All